In the late 60s, Dick and Nancy Ponzi moved their young family to the Willamette Valley with the goal of making world-class Pinot Noir. It was a move that many scoffed at. Winery president Maria Ponzi, then a young child, recalls those days. People told us to go back to California and we had it wrong and we would never make it and yet here we are. Fast forward to now and Ponzi Vineyards is one of the most well-known wineries and makers of Pinot Noir in the region and beyond. And now after 50 years, the winery is switching ownership. This week it announced the French Bollinger family, well known for its champagne, bought Ponzi Vineyards. The deal came after months of talks and lots of consideration. You know, I don't think Ponzi was really ready to to sell necessarily at this particular time, but it was just such a um, kind of a perfect um, situation. So what does this mean for the winery? Well, to the public, the Ponzi say it won't change much at all. There are no plans for them to come in and make big, big moves. This is a French family that um, does things very thoughtfully. In fact, sister Louisa Ponzi, who's been the winemaker for more than 25 years, will remain the winemaker. It's an ideal situation for me because I, I get to focus on winemaking all day long and, and viticulture um, and really not have the the day to day um, you know, running of a business. And the winery will remain Ponzi Vineyards. It's still the house of Ponzi when you come to visit. It's still Ponzi wine. In other words, don't come to Ponzi expecting a glass of Bollinger champagne. But what you can expect is a tasty glass of genuine Willamette Valley Pinot from a region that over the decades has solidified itself as one of the best when it comes to good wine. This um, acquisition just again validates the original vision of those original pioneers who came here over 50 years ago with this really crazy unusual idea of planting Pinot Noir in this cool region. And for that reason, um, it makes it for a very proud moment for us. Healy Chalmers, KGW News.